Hey guys. Hello. Yay. Blinky lights. <laughs> I don't see any blinking lights. Well, play. Uh. See? Blinky lights. How's that work? It works lovely. So just to show you, John S. A. Z. sent us um, this care package and it had these two things from like the 70s. Yellow LED bar graph display, which you see up here. And then the driver that went with it. And it's a LM3914N. And that's what this chip is down here. You can play again if you want. <laughs> And so one of the things that you can make, obviously, is a VU meter. Do you have to make your own guitar to test the circuit? Uh, sure. Sure, you can do that, just like you just did. Oh, all yes. right. Okay, so this chip, um, I used the data sheet to try to put it all together um, to, you know, get our nice LED blinky lights but it totally didn't work. The LED acted funny and I thought it was broken. I thought the chip was broken. Um, and so I did a couple of things. We added power because we thought, well, maybe this requires more power to work. Um, so I had it from go from a nine volt battery, added a 4.5 uh, volt battery pack to it. Um, and right now it's running on a 4.5 volt, uh, volt battery pack. That didn't seem to help anything. Um, I added this LM386 amplifier circuit just because I thought maybe the signal needed some amping up uh, from the guitar. And at that point in time, it didn't really do anything either. So I added our Cascade preamp to it. That didn't do anything either. Uh, so I brought this to the Savage Circuits IRC chat, and John S underscore AZ, who first gave us this chip, also uh, drew a really nice uh, schematic to kind of test this chip out. And so that's what's on this board. Um, and let's see, in a few days, I'm gonna have some more in-depth analysis of like how everything works and what all of the pins here are for. But the most important ones is let's see you have two and three which are your power rails and then this chip works on kind of a voltage tree divider uh, type of action kind of like um, an analog to digital converter and I'll show next week how those work if I can get it to work um, and so two of these pins are the low and the high of that voltage tree divider um, and these kind of feed or get divided into just these LEDs. Pretty simple, really. Let's see. Pin 5 is the signal. And what I realized was if I took away... Uh, if I only had the signal from the LM386, which is this again here, feeding into pin 5 signal input, the LED would start acting fun kind of funny. And I'll have you stop playing. Thank you. And I'm gonna remove this resistor that was previously on uh, on five, pin five. And it's supposed to be doing something funny. Oh, see? You see how it kind of increases? No, Whisker, stop. I pushed it forward another one there. <laughs> so it's not supposed to do that because there's another one. You're pushing, okay. Yeah, slowly. Yeah. It didn't work that time. Oh, come on, okay. <laughs> so I found out that I had to use a resistor um, kind of to zero it. And that's, let me see if I can show you. So you can zero it and you can bring it back however much you need it to kind of just uh, temper it. Um, let's see, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, so, and the cool thing about this, that this ginormous green wire 
is going to is pin 9, which is the mode. And there are two different modes for the LM3914N, which is this chip. One is the bar graph mode, and one is the dot mode. And so I thought I would show you. So this one, uh, the pin 9 is connected to the positive rail, the positive power rail. This is known as the bar mode, which you see it's a bar LED. And then if you move the connection from pin 9 to ground, you get what is known as dot mode. Dots. Yay. And that's the kind of the cool thing too. Magic eye. Magic eye. Cylon style. Ta-da! Okay, so let's move that back to bar mode. Um, so, yeah, I actually learned quite a bit of interesting stuff about pins and um, what they do and also about how to use voltage dividing trees um, and how these chips help do things like cause LEDs to light up in succession. And I think in this LED bar is just a nice package for 10 LEDs. You could easily substitute 10 LEDs instead of this bar. Yeah, or 10 Nixie tubes being controlled through relays or something, you know. Sure. You can go as crazy as you want with your displayer. Sure. Uh, just the chip is doing the heavy lifting there. Yep. So in a couple days, uh, or in a few days, I'll have the schematics, I'll have analysis, and um, if you want to do it, you are more than welcome to. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, check the blog for uh, more information on this project. Mm hmm And, uh, yeah, I think that's it for... This Tuesday edition of Toy Makers. Blinky LEDs. We'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.